Dr. Rao. Thank you, Dr. Page. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Roger Spradlin, who is chair of the Communication Work Group, who will bring the next Executive Committee recommendation. Mr. President, I move the adoption of Executive Committee recommendation number three, entitled Resolution of Appreciation for Dr. Tom Elf, former president of the International Mission Board of the Southern Baptist Convention. This recommendation is found in your 2015 SBC uh, Book of Reports, page 31. I'd like to recognize uh, Dr. Frank Page regarding this resolution. Thank you, Roger. I will not take long with this because the elephants are not here, Mr. President. But I would like just to say on behalf of Southern Baptist how much we love Tom and Jeannie Elif. They're not here because of continuing difficulties with the treatments that she's had to go through. But everyone who knows Tom Elif knows that they have served with distinction and faithfulness for our convention, for our International Mission Board for these years. And it is important for Southern Baptists, they're watching by the internet, it's important for us to let them know that we love them and we will not read this, we'll send this to them and give this to them. It states all that they've done or much of what they've done. But we just need to say to the Ellis, we love you and appreciate you. Thank you, Mr. President. Let's do that with affirmation, please. Thank you. And Tom and Jeannie, we do love you and thank God for you. The question is on the adoption of recommendation number three. And are you ready for the question? The question is on the adoption of recommendation number three. And as many of you that are in favor of adopting this recommendation number three, would you please raise your ballots? You may lower your ballots. And those opposed, would you please raise your ballots? Thank you. And the affirmative has it, and recommendation number three is adopted. I believe it would be in order at this moment. Dr. Rowd, if you would, would you take a moment to pray for Tom and Jeannie Elif and ask God for continuous strength for them and a prayer of thanksgiving for their service to Jesus Christ? Let's do that. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, what a privilege, honor, and joy it is to thank you for one of the most remarkable teams for Christ we've ever had the privilege of knowing, Tom and Jeannie Elif. God, we love them so much. They are so special to our hearts. We are grateful, God, for the difference that they've made in your kingdom's work through these years in the local church, state convention, and on the national scene. Most of all, God, we thank you for their love and faithfulness to the Lord Jesus all of these years. We thank you, God, for their family, followers of Christ, impacting your kingdom's work both here in America and around the world. God, we pray for divine healing for Jeannie. May you continue to comfort her by your grace. Give her the strength to continue to endure. And may she continue to experience your glorious presence in her life during this journey. Father, we're grateful that Tom and Jeannie's ministry is not over. It continues, and we know it will continue until you call them both home. So God, today, again, we want to pause to say thank you for the joy of knowing such an elect team for Christ. I pray this in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Mr. President, Executive Committee Recommendation Number 4 comes as a response to a motion by a messenger during the 2013 convention. The Executive Committee adopted a responsive recommendation 
and announced it to the Southern Baptist family well in advance of last year's convention, hoping to receive input and build consensus. Both of those things occurred, and the language of the draft recommendation was improved prior to being presented to the messengers last year, at which time it was unanimously approved. If it receives a similar positive vote this year, its adoption will be complete. I recommend the adoption of recommendation number four. This recommendation is found in your 2015 SBC Book of Reports, page 33. You have heard recommendation four from the Executive Committee on acting for the second and the final time to amend Articles 3 and, and 14 of the SBC Constitution, and also acting to amend SBC Bylaw 8, with all these amendments taking effect at the end of this annual meeting. These amendments are set out in detail on pages 33 through 36 of your Book of Reports. And just to be clear on what we're doing, the first part of this recommendation is to ratify the changes in the SBC Constitution that the messengers adopted last year. If you are in favor of completing that amendment process and finalizing the amendments to the Constitution, you will vote yes. If you are opposed to amending Articles 3 and 14 of the Constitution, you will vote no. The second part of the recommendation is to make a minor housekeeping amendment to Bylaw 8 so that the reference it makes to Article 3 of the Constitution will use the new amended section title. This amendment to our bylaws requires approval at only one annual meeting. Therefore, are you ready for the question on recommendation number four? Microphone 5A, do you wish to speak against recommendation number four? Yes, right. Two, if this is dealing with the messengers, is that what we're dealing with right now? Recommendation number four is the question. Recommendation number four is the question. Does that deal with the messenger change? It's on page 33. It's on page number 33. Well, I don't have that before me right now. Is that dealing with the change in the messengers, the way they're going to be sent? It does. Okay. And I want to speak against that. Would you please state your name? I'd be happy. And your yes, church, sir. please. My name is Bob Davis. I'm a messenger from Beulah Baptist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. The reason I'm against this is I want to have representation as messengers from a broad perspective as far as we can go. I see no reason to change the number from 10 to 12 because I believe 10 is enough from all the churches. I see no reason to change from $250 to $6,000 for messengers to be sent in addition to the basic two. There are many of our churches that cannot send that kind of money. I realize that there's an alternative that the percentage that you give to the cooperative program will also qualify you for a messenger. Again, I am from Virginia. Our new convention has a lot of church starts. I preach in a lot of places as an evangelist. I know there are a lot of small churches that cannot do either one, and I would not want to eliminate them but I would want to make it as broad as we can to have all of our churches be able to send their messengers. And if you are for this motion, it's going to limit some of the churches as far as the messengers they send. If you vote against it, it will remain as it is, which is broad enough for all of our churches to be able to send messengers at their discretion. The $6,000 is not going to change anyone's giving, I don't believe. It will only change and uh, allow the meat size and the larger churches to be able to send their messengers. Obviously, I'm not against those churches because I preach in all size churches, and I praise God for all of our churches. 
but I encourage you to vote against this amendment. I don't believe it's in the best interest of the Founding Fathers. And as we have progressed in this convention and the things that we've done, the matters before us, this will not, not benefit us. This change will be in place for many years to come, and therefore I urge you to vote against it. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. All right, thank you very much for your concern. At this time, the Executive Committee, would you please speak to this? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. We truly appreciate the concerns that have been articulated. I'm sure that there are some of you sitting in the seats right now that have the same concerns. That's why we're talking. This amendment does not inhibit people from coming, but rather it invites more to the table. We're going from 10 to 12 messengers. Also, you will note in the amendment that rather than having one messenger per church per grata, we now have two. We understand that the majority of our Southern Baptist churches are smaller churches. We also understand that on the average, two persons come per church. So we have gone from, in the new recommendation, from one member, one messenger from each church to two. Here, this messenger has also addressed the issue of finance. In 1888, for each messenger to the convention, there was $250 given. Today, many years later, 126 years later, to figure $6,000 was the same amount of money that it was in 1888. In other words, in 1888, $250 today would be $6,000. We've just adjusted to the rate of inflation. So this recommendation does not inhibit participation to the annual meeting of the Southern Baptist Convention. If that's what we were proposing, we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot. However, we want more messengers to come to the annual meeting of the Southern Baptist Convention. And because of that, I strongly urge you to adopt this recommendation. Thank you very much, and the time has expired for the Executive Committee report. Therefore, we need to go ahead and vote on this adoption of this recommendation number four. So are you ready for the question? The question is on the adoption of recommendation number four. As many as are in favor of adopting recommendation number four, would you please raise your ballots? Thank you. You may lower your ballots. And those opposed to recommendation number four, would you please raise your ballots? The affirmative has it. Therefore, recommendation number four is adopted. Therefore, the first part of this report, the time is now expired. And therefore, we thank you very much for this today. At this time, 